The elimination of ponding water on a roof surface extends the life of a roofing membrane, reduces structural burdens, and discourages mold and algae growth. Tapered polyiso insulation is a sloped rigid foam insulation panel produced to promote positive drainage and meet roof configuration and drainage requirements. This video is part of an educational series on tapered polyiso installation. This video describes what a cricket is and how to install a half inch per foot full diamond cricket. Comprised of tapered panels, a cricket is a secondary application of insulation that directs water to one or more drainage points, such as a gutter, a scupper, or internal roof drains. Crickets are comprised of a series of tapered and fill panels that are designed for specific rooftop conditions and tapered specifications. A cricket may come in many shapes and sizes, quarter diamond, half diamond, full diamond, quarter snub nose, half snub nose, and full snub nose crickets, as well as wide and backslope crickets, to name a few. Here we are showing you a full diamond cricket. The distance from A to B is called the cricket length. On a full diamond cricket, the cricket length should run the distance between two drainage points on your roof. Point C marks your center point and is directly between points A and B. The distance between points D and E is called the cricket width. The cricket panel slope refers to the degree of slope used in the tapered cricket panels. A one half inch per foot slope is very common. The cricket valley slope, points A to D, is made up of the net slope created along the edge of the cricket. The X on the diagram marks the cricket angle, which is the angle between the corresponding lines A, B, the cricket length, and A, D, the cricket valley. Independent of the cricket installation, the roof will often slope. The measurement of this incline is called the roof surface slope. In this exercise, our roof deck slopes at one quarter inch per foot to a valley between two drains. When designing a cricket, begin by finding your cricket length. In the case of a diamond cricket, the cricket length is the distance between two drainage points on a roof. The cricket length is the most vital measurement in the process. All other angles, cuts, and measurements are based around this. For this exercise, the distance is 24 feet. We now need to find the center point. To find the center point of your cricket, divide the length in half. Use your result to measure inward from one of the drains. Once you have your center point, it is time to find cricket width. The cricket width is typically one-third the overall distance of the cricket length. Divide the length by three to find the cricket width. For this exercise, we will round to eight feet. To ensure your cricket width is symmetrical, divide this number in half. Use the result to measure outward perpendicularly from both sides of the center point. The cricket valley slope and cricket angles are determined by connecting the outside points. After mapping out the dimensions, we will find the cricket panel slope, which will determine what type of tapered panels to use. Typically, this value is calculated by doubling the roof surface slope. Remember, for this exercise, the roof has a one quarter inch per foot slope. So our cricket panel slope will be one half inch per foot slope. This formula allows for proper backslope, preventing water from running up and over the cricket. Now that we have mapped out our full diamond cricket, we can begin installing our tapered panels. Take the low side of your first tapered panel and lay it down in line with the outermost mark. Continue laying tapered panels along the chalked line until the drainage point is reached.
Now chalk a line between both drainage points. Next, chalk a line between the two outside widths of the cricket. These lines indicate where the cricket panels will be mirrored. Cut the marked tapered panels along their individual markings. We now have completed a quarter diamond cricket. To create a wide cricket, take the previously cut panels and place them upside down, aligning the low side of the Q panels together. Cut along each edge to create a mirrored panel, which will be used to create the other half of a wide cricket. Repeat the same process to complete the other side and create a wide cricket. To install a full diamond cricket between two drainage points, mirror the wide cricket. This is just one of many ways to fabricate crickets in the field. This concludes our Tapered Crickets 101 video. You should now understand the installation of tapered crickets. The Tapered Design Team takes the mystery out of tapered insulation with clear designs, streamlined quotes, on-site consultations, and education by some of the industry's best. The designers work directly with architects, contractors, and sales reps. Beyond quoting and designing, they can present various types of virtual and on-site tapered training. The Tapered Team is here to help with any tapered insulation needs and provides the best solution for every roof. You can reach out to our tapered department with any questions, design inquiries, or quote requests. If you'd like to learn more about tapered polyiso, check out our other videos on our channel.